Hello, um, welcome to the Computer Vision podcast. Today I want to show you how to just read and display a video with video and audio synchronized like you do in a video player. So video player is a very basic thing. Video input and output and with audio synchronization. And for this I'm using the FFmpeg extension and the X11 extension and I use the wrappers for the Linux advanced sound architecture <coughs> and as an example I use the Sintel video it's a nice uh, video project from Netherlands they made a 15 minutes animated video last year so now the video is open and then I can scroll to a certain position and I can read a frame and I can for example show it uh, with a size of 600 pixel and that's a frame I can go to a different position And I can also use the uh, closure. So I set the frame rate to the frame rate of the video. Uh, I put brackets here and I resize it to 600 pixel. And then I can read frames. And that's the way it looks like. <coughs> and now for audio, I open the audio output and I try to get a sampling rate close to the sampling rate of the video and an output channel with the same number of channels, like stereo is usually two. And Here's how you read audio data from the file. And I can, for example, if I have a sample rate, if I want to display three seconds of audio, I want to get three, oops, three seconds of audio, I will take this divided by the size of an audio frame um, which is 1024 so that would be 140 frames and if I do that that's how it looks like I'm not sure that you can hear this but I'll make sure you can hear this. It would be like like that. Yeah, that's uh, audio. So now I want to output both video and audio in a synchronized fashion. So for this I use uh, First of all, for better performance, I use X video accelerated output. And now I define a code block. So I always read an image. Uh, wait a moment, I, I want to resize this. So I always read an image. And then I always fill the audio buffer until there's no more space for an audio packet. So I write the audio frame and then I read the next audio frame. <coughs> and then I need to compute the delay so I adapt the speed of the video display to the audio 
old pop. So I checked the video position of the FFmpeg library and I checked the audio position. And so if the video is ahead of the audio, I have to wait. And the audio position, I need to correct it uh, because the audio position is ahead of the actual position of the audio being played. And it's ahead because, first of all, I have some samples in the audio buffer. And furthermore, I have read another frame which I have stored in the audio variable. And this is a number of samples, so I need to divide by the rate of the sound card. And that will give me a delay, so I can use this delay to wait using the X11 event loop, so the program doesn't block or anything. It doesn't use processing time, it just waits. And then I output the video at the appropriate time. And Let's see how this works like. watch the video online if you're interested in the video. So that's it already. That's video audio synchronized output with the Ruby and my Hornetsai library. Thank you for watching. <laughs>